everyone, it's Gentry Stein, the current world yo-yo champion. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly maintain your yo-yo. Proper maintenance is gonna help you progress much faster with your tricks and ultimately save you a lot of headaches along the way. So today we're gonna go over how to properly remove, clean, and care for your yo-yo bearing, how and when to change your yo-yo string, as well as your response pads, as well as all the items you'll need to do all this. Definitely don't underestimate the importance of maintaining your yo-yo because if you do skip the maintenance, you're gonna run into some problems. So I actually put together a special pack called the Yo-Yo Pro Trainer Pack, which you can see right here. It's available on my website, gentrystein.com. It'll be the first link in the description. It's definitely the pack for you if you already have a Yo-Yo Master Pack or if you're just looking for an awesome, unresponsive metal yo-yo to keep learning tricks on, as well as all the yo-yo accessories that you'll need for that maintenance to keep your yo-yo playing fresh. The Yo-Yo Pro Trainer Pack includes one of my signature shutter trainers trainer yo-yos, which is the perfect first metal yo-yo for anyone, as well as a super long spinning center track ball bearing, some extra string, a five pack, as well as an extra set of response pads, some long spinning yo-yo bearing oil, as well as a yo-yo factory multi-tool, which is a must for all yo-yo players. I also wanna let you guys know at the end of this video, I'll be announcing the winner of the giveaway that I told you guys about in my last video, where I'm giving away a free Yo-Yo Pro trainer pack to one of you guys. All you had to do to enter was just comment down below, hashtag Yo-Yo Gang. So stay tuned till the end and good luck. So let's get to the maintenance. The first thing we're gonna go over is how to clean your Yo-Yo bearing. Now, as you guys are practicing, you may find that the bearing stops spinning as well. It might sound a little bit gritty. Maybe the Yo-Yo becomes responsive or maybe the bearing will actually completely lock up. Now, don't worry if this happens. A lot of people think that their yo-yo bearing is defective or broken, but no, it just needs to be clean. This just means that as you were playing with the yo-yo, something got stuck in it. But luckily, it's pretty easy to clean, and if you have the Yo-Yo Pro Trainer Pack, the only other items you'll need is a cleaning agent and a small jar as well as some tweezers and a paper towel. For the cleaning agent, there's a couple things you can use. I prefer 100% acetone. Other people like to use mineral spirits or lighter fluid, but just keep in mind, these are all flammable chemicals. So if you guys are under the age of 18, I recommend doing this only with parental supervision. Just make sure that you guys are all careful. And what you wanna do is put the cleaning agent in a small jar just like this. You don't need very much of it. You can see I just have a little bit of it there. Now we'll start by unscrewing the yo-yo. That way we can take the bearing out to clean it. And this is where the Yo-Yo Factory multi-tool is gonna come into play. Um, that's how we're gonna remove the bearing from the Yo-Yo, because as you can see, the bearing's kind of stuck in there. So it might be tempting to use a set of like metal pliers that you have laying around the house, but I highly recommend against this, just because it's very easy to damage the bearing seat and the inside of the Yo-Yo, which this is one of the more important parts of the Yo-Yo because the bearing will sit perfectly on here, and that's what allows it to spin really well. So if this part's all scratched up, your yo-yo bearing is not gonna spin very well and it'll lead to a bunch of problems. So what we're gonna do is find the side that the bearing is on, and then we wanna take the multi-tool and find this little piece right here that just looks like a little metal cylinder sticking out, and that's actually what we're gonna put inside the bearing there. And then what you wanna do is just wiggle the bearing out. Now you may find that the bearing's a little tight, so it takes a little bit of messing around with, but eventually, as you continue to wiggle the bearing, you'll start to see that it loosens, and then if you keep working with it, you'll be able to get the bearing out. The multi-tool works really well for this just because you never have to worry about damaging the yo-yo as you're taking the bearing out because the multi-tool only stays on the inside of the bearing and doesn't actually touch the yo-yo at all. Now you wanna take your cleaning agent and whatever container you have it in, just drop that bearing into it. It doesn't matter what container it is. You can even use just like a bowl or something. But I like to use this little jar right here just because you can conveniently twist that cap on. And then what you wanna do is just swish the bearing around for about 10 to 20 seconds. If you don't have a small container like this to put the cleaning agent in, what you can do is whatever container the bearing is in, you can also use a set of tweezers to just put on the inside of the bearing there and just swish it around yourself. That's gonna achieve the same effect. Once you've switched it around for about 20 seconds, you wanna just take the bearing out. Now you grab your paper towel, drop the bearing on it so it dries. And then what you wanna do is grab your tweezers and put them on the inside of the bearing, just like this. So the bearing sitting on the outside of the tweezers like that. And what you wanna do is just flick the bearing with your thumb. Be careful that you don't flick any of that cleaning agent into your eyes. So that's why you wanna dry the bearing off first. But once the bearing's completely dry, you're ready to just flick it, get it spinning. And at this point, you should be able to hear the bearing spinning really well. If it still sounds gritty, 
just toss it back in the cleaning agent, swish it around some more until when you spin it like this, it's back to normal. Flick the bearing with your thumb about five times, letting it spin in between each time. That way you can make sure that the yo-yo bearing is spinning properly. And once you've done that, you're ready to apply your long spinning yo-yo oil. So what we wanna do is just unscrew this and we're barely gonna put any oil into the bearing. So as it's sitting on the tweezers like this, what we wanna do is actually just make a little drop, not even enough to the point to where it completely drops out like that. We actually wanna put like half a drop in. So all we're gonna do is lightly squeeze it up until we see a little bit of that oil coming out and just tap it onto the inside of the bearing right there. And once we've done that, what we wanna do is same thing, flick the bearing with our thumb, that way the oil can work itself inside the bearing. And if when you flick it, the bearing immediately slows down, that means you probably put a little bit too much oil. So you can just repeat the process, put it back in the cleaning agent, uh, flick it a few times, get it dry, put the oil back in, and then you're good to go to put just a half drop. Now the reason we wanna use the yo-yo bearing oil instead of just running the bearing dry is because it's gonna make our bearings last a lot longer Longer, and it's also gonna help our bearings spin a lot more smooth while we're playing with our yo-yo. Now you may notice when after putting the bearing back in the yo-yo after cleaning it and applying the oil, it may be a little bit responsive, but don't worry, that doesn't mean you didn't clean it right. It just has a little bit of a break-in period. So after you play with your yo-yo for about an hour, it should be good to go and spinning super smooth. Now that we know how to properly clean our yo-yo bearing, what we wanna do is go over how and when to change our yo-yo string as well as our response pads. So this string right here, I've been playing with for a few days. Usually I don't let it go that long, but it really comes down to how much you're practicing and what your preferences are. So usually I like to change my string at least once a day, but for you, you may find that every few days or even every week is good. I just prefer a really clean, fresh string. But really what you wanna look for is when the string starts to get a little bit dirty and you can't see the different strands as well. So like we, gone over in some of my learn to yo-yo videos. When you untwist the string there, you can see those two strands and you can see I'm having a bit of a hard time getting those strands apart because the string has been smashed together. It's continued to rub against our fingers as we've been learning tricks. So that means it's probably time to change the string. So if we look at one of these new strings right here, we'll just pull one out right here. You can see that these strands are much easier to see. So it's much easier to open that string up and the string is a lot more fresh. Now remember, if you keep a fresh string, it's gonna help you learn tricks a lot easier just because it'll slide across your hands better when you're doing tricks and it's gonna give you more control. Let's say we wanna put this string on the yo-yo real quick. All we're gonna do is just take the yo-yo here, pinch the string just a couple inches above it, untwist the yo-yo, slide the string right off. And then we're gonna do that same thing for our new string. So take the side that doesn't have the loop. We're gonna untwist that, slide it right over, twist it back together and we're good to go. Now for changing the response pads, what you wanna do is just grab your extra set of pads from the Yo-Yo Pro Trainer Pack. And the way you'll know that you need a new set of response pads is if you unscrew your Yo-Yo and you look to the inside, you'll see that on the inside of the pad, it's gonna be indented a little bit and that's gonna really make binds a lot more difficult. So if you're noticing that your binds are slipping a little bit and it's not working quite right, but you've already mastered the bind, you know that it's probably time for a new set of pads. So I'll show you real quick how to remove the pad. What we wanna do is grab the Yo-Yo Factory Multi-Tool and instead of this little cylinder piece that's sticking out of the side, we wanna to go to the bottom of the tool where we have this little hexagon right here. It's really tiny. What we wanna do is actually push that up against the pad. Now, as we're doing that, you wanna make sure not to scratch the inside of the yo-yo, remember? So we wanna do this very carefully and just push up against the inside and then move it a little bit like this. And you can see the pad just pops out just like that. From there, what we wanna do is remove the pad completely. And if you're lucky, you'll do this cleanly. So you can see that I don't have too much residue right in here. And most of the residue is stuck to the pad. Now, when you're playing with your yo-yo frequently and practicing a lot and you wear the pad until you need a new one, the, the residue on the end probably won't stick to the pad like that. This is just a newer pad. So what you'll find is a lot of that residue sticks to the inside of this area where the pad sticks to. So what we wanna do is take that same part of the multi-tool and just scratch it around like this. It doesn't really matter if you scratch this part, as long as you don't scratch the part that's coming up right here or the bearing seat area. So as long as it's inside here, you just wanna scrape all that residue out. And it might take a little bit of work, so I like to just kinda scrape it around just like that. And then get that residue out. If you wanna grab 
a piece of your paper towel and kind of use that to stick up against it so you can make sure to get all that residue out, then that's going to give you a really smooth surface to put the replacement pad in. So what we want to do is remove the paper from the back of the pad and you'll feel that the pad is sticky on the other side. So that's the part that we want to place down on the inside of that smooth area. So push that pad in just like that. I take a little bit of work to push it in so that way it's nice and flush. And again, make sure that before you put the pad in, you get all of that residue out. Because right here, it's nice and flush, but if you don't get that residue up, the pad's gonna stick out. And then as the yo-yo's spinning, the string's just gonna rub against the pad and the yo-yo's not gonna spin very well. So just get that pad worked in there, push it down, spin the yo-yo around so you can get it completely flush and you're good to go. Then you just want to do the other side. So let's do that real quick. All right, our replacement pads are in. We're ready for some snappy binds. So now it's time to put our bearing back in the yo-yo. But before we do that, we want to grab some of the yo-yo oil. And what we want to do is actually put a little bit of that oil right on the inside of the bearing seat. Now that's just going to make sure the bearing fits on there nicely. Instead, what I'm going to do is actually upgrade to the long spinning center track bearing that comes in the yo-yo pro trainer pack and put that right into our shutter trainer. Screw the yo-yo back together. Get that new string on there. And we're good to go, baby. All right, guys, that's how to maintain your yo-yo. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, hit that like button for me. It'll help me out a lot. And at this point, there's only one more thing to do. Let's announce the giveaway winner. The way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna pull my computer up here and share the screen with you right here. And as you guys can see, we have 1,000 568 comments. That is absolutely nuts. So that means we got about 1500 entries into the Yo-Yo Gang Yo-Yo Pro Trainer Pack giveaway. So one of you guys will be the lucky winner here. What I'm gonna do is pull up a random number generator. So let's go. All right, we got our random number generator here. And what I'm gonna do is make sure the comments are sorted by the newest first, just to keep it fair. And now what we're gonna do is out of 1,568 comments, we're gonna bring the number generator up here, 1,568. And it's time to choose the winner. Okay, now I'm just gonna generate. And the winner is comment number 172. Let me real quick find who number 172 is. 1, 2, 28. 29, 81, 82, 80, 70, 171, 172. The winner is Courtney Davids. Hashtag yo-yo gang, hashtag string theory. Let's all get out there and throw some yo-yos. Keep on throwing. What an epic comment. Courtney, you are the winner of the free Yo-Yo Pro Trainer Pack. Congrats to Courtney Davids. Just go ahead and send me a email through the contact page on my website. I have that drop down below and I'll make sure to get you your Yo-Yo Pro Trainer Pack sent ASAP. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the Yo-Yo maintenance video. I hope this was a big help for you guys. Congrats to Courtney Davids for the free Yo-Yo Pro Trainer Pack. Thank you guys so much for the support, for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.